It could be any other international summit, save for the large banners of Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad draped around the room. Not surprising then to see representatives from Turkey, Russia, Cuba and the Czech Republic. What was surprising? The presence of the Canadian Labour Congress's vice president, Donald Lafleur. Even more surprising, what he had to say about sanctions on Syria. It's completely unacceptable and uh, the Canadian, uh, Canadian labour movement uh, does support the people in Syria and it, it, we're here to, to, to put pressure to take the sanctions away. Those words from a long-time labour leader, a big shock to his employer. To be clear, we weren't being officially represented there. He had no mandate from the CLC uh, to speak on our behalf or to represent the Congress. And um, it uh, ought not to have been re represented that way. The Labour-aligned NDP in the throes of an election campaign also taken aback, issuing this statement. We are shocked by comments made by Mr. Lafleur, especially considering the treatment of workers in Syria. We do not endorse them. The NDP has often spoken strongly against slaughter perpetrated by the Syrian government and its allies. It's against our Canadian values as, as a country. Raguna Badewi, herself a Syrian refugee who now teaches human rights and law in Toronto, it's not just that a Canadian called for an end to sanctions against the country she fled, it's that he attended an event there at all. Him being there is shame. Uh, normalizing the situation with the Syrian regime is difficult now unless they took certain measures to, to protect um, uh, human rights, to, to you know, uh, stop the war, stop the killing and respect us as civilians. Now we did try repeatedly to contact Donald Lafleur and find out why he went to Syria and who paid for it. So far, no luck, but the Canadian Labour Congress is adamant it didn't foot any of the bill, and it says it will get to the bottom of it. Mm. And the, the Canadian Labour Congress, I mean, represents so many in the labour movement in this country. What are those unions saying about all of this? Well, we did try to contact about eight of the unions that are under the Canadian Labour Congress, and some who are outside of it. Nobody wanted to touch this with a 10-foot pole. Mm. I will tell you, we got a statement from Global Affairs Canada, which basically confirmed uh, how important it views these sanctions um, as a, a diplomatic tool with uh, with Syria. So that's pretty much uh, all we've got. Stay tuned and maybe we'll have a, an update for you tomorrow. Katie, thanks very much. You're welcome.